Welcome back to Let's Play Death Spank, Thongs of Virtue. I'm Burning Dog Face. And last time, I confronted Santa again with the help of this hat made from Rudolph's carcass, overcame his mighty coal monster with the power of my, uh... What do they call it? Just the ice tomahawk? Yeah. My melee ice weapons now cause a storm of blades and used the tomahawk. I don't know that they actually had the proper descriptions. Using a melee and death weapon with a cavalry sword now cleaves the souls from my enemies. Freezing ice. My soldier spade with a melee and death weapon for tiny results. Clance the best of poultry. That, wait. I have two of those. That's weird. And it is a priceless, so... Way too valuable to grind into cash. Three times the excitement. Geyserific. Makes it rain justice from a passing plane. Yeah, I remember, I remember that one. Oh yeah, and uh, also, Sandy gave me this. Miniature thongolith. Just like the real thing, but smaller. I wonder who might be interested in seeing this. Well, I know what to do with that. You! Yeah, I really probably should. Okay. There. Now I don't have to think about this horrible thing I have done ever again. Excellent! Everyone's a winner! I also do need to go to the, uh, yeah, that. I don't need to do that. Greetings, researcher. I've got this thing that kind of looks like it came from a thongolith. Could it be from the missing one you said you've been searching for? No, it can't be. But it is! After so many years of searching, the final piece of the puzzle is mine! Now, I can finally bring my life's work to fruition. Oh, wait here. This will only take a minute. One minute later. <laughs> a minute later. Here it is. My fantastic patent-pending teleportation device. And for your part in aiding me on my scientific endeavors, I shall let you be the first to use it. Shouldn't you test that sort of thing out on a cute animal first? Oh, sadly, cute animals for research purposes are quite expensive. I figured a hero would be the next best test subject to use. I hear pigs are, uh, very good analogs of humans when you're looking for test results. We have, uh, similar enough DNA that there have been plenty of surgeries where someone's shitty heart was replaced with a perfectly functional pig heart. At least, like, a part of a big heart. I don't quite remember. But, um... Yeah, I'll head over to the Sanctuary in the Dark Forest. Well, I did just spend a million dollars. I should probably go back and pick that up, even if it is just, you know, that. There we go. Hey, I'm six dollars closer to where I was, I'm just saying. No. Bad barrel lope. That quest was ages ago. I'll talk to you. Shit, this is not where they are. I don't want it to be the sea, because a lot of places touch the sea. Alright. I guess I'll have to try... Where else have I seen Barrelopes? Well, the water clue is interesting. The Oasis? No. The... It could be in... Well, I actually can't get there, but, you know, the Sierra Mountains, maybe? There's a very large body of water, uh... Over here. Hmm... Alright, I'll try the Oasis, and if that doesn't work... not acknowledge the hermit. He wants to be left alone. Yeah, I didn't think so. 
That was incredibly satisfying. In case you were wondering. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, fine. Fine, rather than just poking around at random. God damn it, I did look there! There are more bodies of water, but... I am really actually kind of ticked off by that. I have to admit it. No, this is where I just was. <laughs> Dude, it isn't... <clears throat> I am very, very annoyed that I was right. And, uh... Let's see. I'm watching the, uh, the other side of the lake here. I don't see any silhouettes that look like barrel opes. Shit. Oh, all right. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, all right, all right. Although, in fairness, I absolutely never would have looked inside that cave if I thought the hint was pointing me towards the lake. Never. I've been in there. I found a crystal sample for that guy. I'm like 90% sure. Yeah, let's go over there. Paralope Sire Antlers. And the unsafe shoulders. I'm pretty sure I already had those. Give me enemy slicing power and ally injuring liability. Okay, you know what? Those actually look kind of cool. I will give you that. Ahem. In. Uh, it's the guy next to the desert outhouse. Death Spank has returned! And he's flying low. Okay. <clears throat> um. Greetings, big game hunter. Here are some barrel oh, I didn't look at them anyway. <gasps> My bad. These antlers are dangerously perfect. <laughs> Thank you, hero. You're welcome. Oh, sweet, sweet tentacle monster tips. So delicious, yet so dangerous. I was going to say high in cholesterol, but I hunger for the tip. Then I will kill this tentacle monster and bring you the tip. Mmm. I can already taste that sweet, sweet danger. <laughs> I knew it. Fuck. Okay, I need to take a kill a tentacle monster and cake its tentacle monster tip back to the big game hunter at the entrance to the sandy desert. Just the tip. Very funny. So I took a moment there to see if I could find a list of the item descriptions on the internet, and what do you know? And it's not the most pretty thing to look at, it's a GitHub page, but, uh... Apparently, uh, this list of the code of the game says that the description of the Barrelope Sire antlers is... Regal shape and minty taste define these antlers. So, uh... 
they've got that going for them. But, uh... Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Let's see. Literally the only place I think I've encountered those uh, tentacles is in here. But I'm not sure this is going to be the solution, because this is also where I found a different named tentacle. Desert Tentacle Queen or something, wasn't it? That's just a bunch of regular ass tentacles. Alright, give me a hint. Tentacle monsters are attracted to noise and destruction. Try looking around the destroyed city. Okay. That's not a very large area. I'm not entirely clear why that's, uh... Oh, nice. There's another one over here. Not entirely clear why that's the second hint and not the third one. The destroyed outhouse! Oh, hey, the Navy. No, you're not the Navy. You're the Green Exterminator. You're the Navy, though! Greetings, Captain. Goodbye, Captain. Shepard. You guys look bad, and the ones that are that close aren't, uh, dead. I'm just saying. It's telling you that. Tentacle monster. Thrower guys. Even now, they're kind of annoying to fight. Stop dropping so many goddamn grenades! Look at that, I finally survived. Oops, I. Fuck, I thought I was gonna get the special one and kill all those guys in one swing. But hey, what do we know? Why are you attacking that guy? Well, I'm in the right place for noise and destruction. Holy fuck. It's kind of got a nice beat to it. Fucking die already! Oh, nice beat or not, it is nice to see your silence as well. Sure, undeath grenades, I don't know. Eat shit. You are no longer alive. It's mildly disturbing that the uh, energy for undeath is exactly identical to the energy that swirls around Death Spank's hands when he's... Oh, it's a signpost, that's what that is. When he's uh, got his justice attack ready. Is there some kind of trick to making it appear? Is that why it wasn't the third hint? I'm missing something. Other than the tentacle poster, I mean. That goes without saying. Shut the fuck up. No. That's better. Now you're dead! Well, I've created a lot of noise and destruction. And I was, was kind of hoping that the trick was kill everybody. And then the tentacle monster will be like, oh, hell yeah, I want in on that. It sounds great over there. Well, all right. I'll just make one last check over in this base over here. Excuse me.
You be dead. That actually singed me a lot. Hey, hey, hey! Jesus. So I, they can set me on fire and it burns me to death. But I can't set them on fire. Is that what you're telling me? I don't know. Maybe orc sweat. Uh, actually, I don't know of any. Uh, damn it, it would have been easier if I said human sweat gasoline. I don't know of any uh, liquid uh, fire retardant materials. Although knowing this game, I you know you could make a joke about oh the orcs they rub themselves down with asbestos every day. All right, you win. Go to the crater on the south side of the destroyed city close to Farmer Blizzbane's. I see that machine gun up there, I just have no desire for it. Wow, that is really specific. Eh. Okay, finally! Tentacle monster tip. I think this is what they make glitter out of. Miniature outhouse. It's a tiny outhouse with a moon on it. So, since all of the outhouses have moons on them, I'm going to assume that means that uh, this one is going to take me to the moon. I mean, I don't know if I'm carrying it, but I literally have an item that's, uh... It's like one of these, except it's an outhouse. I don't think I need both of those. Or all of those. Root beer. Well, then I'm having flashbacks to blend your own adventure, if anyone remembers that uh, reference. All right. Uh, yes. Garden Poison Club the third. Should probably get rid of one of these giant teeth. Wait, wasn't? Oh no, no, it's the armor that's priceless, not that. Um. Oh, it's the dog that's going out there. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, some of those were, like, unnecessarily specific. Uh... The Tentacle Monster. I don't like these quests where it's just find this beast somewhere in the world. Like, a lot of these quests are, like, very nice and specific. Like, go to the Thongolithical Queen in the Cactus Forest. throw them all in together, it's a... Yeah, I need to head west of the blown up uh, Orc Comm Tower and kill Colonel Orc. And if it's not in the quest description, I do feel like they at least give a vague idea of where it is. Or hey! Here's another thing where there's nothing in the description at all, but at least you can figure that it's somewhere in the area! You know, like the, the Bandito quest from the Damsel. Or it's always like, somewhere around this spot, you're gonna find a bunch of Banditos in a camp. Go kill them all. Greetings, big game hunter. Here is the tip from a tentacle monster. Perfect! <laughs> I will fry it in dangerous oils. My hunt is now complete. Greetings, big game hunter. Thank you again for all your dangerous killing. Well, you didn't thank me the first time, so you're welcome. Hmm. 
according to my timer, there are 23 seconds remaining. So what I'm going to do... Uh, hey guys. Interesting that they didn't start attacking until uh, that debuff ran off. I guess it's not invincibility, it's just peace. You know, I thought for sure there was going to be a quest where I had to, like, blow up all these bunkers or something. Oh, shit, there was more than one. Well, there's the guy I'm looking for. Okay. I wanted him to be able to see this. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Death Spank, Thongs of Virtue, when we activate that... Oh, there's a snowman on top of that tower over there. Okay. When we activate this guy's device, get transported to the moon, and then confront Sandy. Till then, keep it real, Burning Dog fans. Later.